good day everybody and welcome to another edition of the military and foreign affairs network i am your host the voice of reason well today i don't know if you would you would uh, describe this as a lesson in insanity or a uh, or a discussion about current military events so first, let's look at the uh, two actors involved in this issue that I'm going to talk about. One is uh, is Armenia, and the other nation state is uh, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan is uh, is ruled uh, by a dictatorship. Uh, the guy's name is Aliyev, and before he ruled, his father ruled for for many decades as well. So it's this father-son dictatorship, much like we've seen in Syria, much like we've seen uh, in North Korea. And uh, Azerbaijan is a uh, is a Muslim country. I believe it is Shia. I think I'm right on that. Someone's going to correct me if I'm wrong. So we're going to go with most of the country is, uh, is Shia. And it's very interesting to see what's, uh, what's happening, uh, especially in regards to uh, what's happening with the cutting off of uh, Nagorno-Karabakh by elements being directly supported by the Azeri government, by, by Aliyev. But first, I need to circle back. I need to talk about the uh, the concept of uh, the idea behind uh, theocratic environmentalism. And what do I mean by that? Well, when you talk to a left wing environmental activist. That person will usually light up with the same kind of religious zealotry, fanaticism, that you may see with with various uh, 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 religions around the earth. It's been proven that individuals who are radical environmentalists, such as Greta Thunberg, when, her, when she starts talking about environmentalism, her brain lights up, the religious part of her brain lights up because it is a faith-based religion. Environment, extreme environmentalism is a faith-based religion. Now what's happening that's very, very interesting right now that's going on between the Azeris in the Armenian, which makes this f- so funny, is I guess you could say that Aliyev is encouraging Islamic apostates. How is he doing that? Well, I'll explain. If you go over to this area here, it's the uh, Lachin Corridor, there's basically one road that goes from Armenia proper into Nagorno Karabakh after the war that then supply some of these towns and villages that are majority Armenian. Well, what Aliyev has done, he has taken some of these uh, Shia Muslim apostates that have uh, turned towards environmental activism. They were Shia. Now they worship radical environmentalism. And this was actually pretty smart by Aliyev because, because if let's say these were actual religious fanatics, Muslim religious fanatics that were blocking the Lechen Corridor, then the United States and the, the, the left-wing Biden administration would probably have something to say. But because they are eco-activists, <laughs> and they are, and they are uh, doing exactly what the Biden administration wants them to do, which is theocratic environmentalist activism. 
by blocking this road because they feel that the Armenians in this area over here in Nagorno-Karabakh are doing illegal mining. Isn't that a hoot? So you have a, uh, a dictator in Azerbaijan using far left-wing extremist environmental activism to then lawfully block the Lilichin Corridor where they won't get heat from the Biden administration. <laughs> so is Aliyev condoning his population to become apostates from Islam and follow the tenets of environmentalism theocracy? You be the judge. Have a good night.